and hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bogmart here, playing Duke Dirk the Sixth of Holland. Ah, Zealand is prospering. Good. Lots of sacks of grain. That's, you know, it's being prosperous. Mm -hmm. We are currently heir to the country of... Oh! We are no longer heir to the Holy Roman Empire. Instead, Count <laughs> Prince Gottfried has become more popular with the electors. There was a small period there where the various princes were like, you know, well, we should make that uh, Dutch guy on the coast. He should be emperor. Not anymore. But that's fine. All I need is to build up my wealth. My military strength. And it will become mine. We also have this adorable little chunk of the Welsh countryside that will soon become ours. Sadly, Mother is getting old. She's getting on in years. She's 55. Currently unmarried. Oh. It looks like Dad was her last husband. Or was he? Uh, when did you die? 18, 19, 1804. 1084. Or 1117. Nope, nope. She had a second husband. Who also died. At the age of 41. Poor health. Cap fever. Alright. I do have a few goals. Goal number one. Become King of Frisia. Uh, that, that's our primary goal. Second goal. Become an elector of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, well, the Pope likes me a little bit more. But is it enough? It's 19. Right. Apparently this man is too pious. Who's his heir? Well, if he died, his heir would probably... The Pope would probably be, be fine letting me invade his heir. But I have no reason to suspect that he will uh, not have a long and healthy life. I am saving up money. I want to build another city. Okay, to be honest. Because uh, that's going to be where I'm going to be getting a lot of a lot of income from. Right? Currently, my domain provides the most. No, right. oh, one of the priests gives me money too. But also to take these seven. Was it eight? These eight provinces. It's a pretty large domain. But I'm willing to accept it.
Me and Thomas, I'll show you how to use a sword. After all, you are married to my aunt. You know, could I, you know, I gotta, I gotta help out the guy. I would like to revoke the Prince Bishopric of Sticht. Fifty-five. Thirty-five. Has greater or equal to one plot backer. All right. Oh, my wife is beset by rashes and episodes of delirium. All right. Let's try and revoke it. See what happens. Uh, your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. I don't have any corrupted souls you've enticed to help you carry out your plans. Without a fight, which is rightfully mine, is mine. Well, then where it is... So in my favor, I have more than 3,000 troops ready and willing and able. Now, for those of you who may have a medieval level of education, 3,000 is more than 1,000. This gives me a tactical advantage in the world of horrific violence. There we are. So here we are. We are battling in Veer. Some nice friendly open hills. Or not even hills. Just open countryside. As you can see... I have numerous more troops than he does. I have three sides. My troops are flowing with excellence, and my chest is swelling with pride. We keep pressing forward. I turn my back to answer the call of a soldier nearby, and there's a sharp pain in my hand. If you hear an enemy shouting, stay down, you unprincipled bookworm. I could get a swollen wrist. Each certain chance to become brave. I'm a worse dueler. I'll take the 80% chance to become brave. Ah, my wrist! Oh no! Ouchies. But now it should not take long to break him. Oh, is he going to siege my capital? Oh, you idiot. Let's see what I can do. Let's do that. A quick lightning strike. Defend the home. During the battle, I catch sight of a sickly man who looks a lot like my friend Thomas. Then he is struck down. <gasps> Suddenly, I'm pushing soldiers out of the way, hurrying over to where I saw him fall. I know it is not Thomas, but I can't help myself. We must remember to tend to our wounded. All right, patient, good trait. Sigurd up, my eldest. There we are, hundred percent. I will enforce my demands. Alright, so now it gets a little weird. I 
Does that control a a capital? I don't really want to. So, oh, interesting. The barony also controlled by a bishop. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do. Um... Oh, but he's a traitor. So no one will care if I take it from him. Which I will. I'll accept my decision to support the barony. There we are. We have another territory. Boop. We'll build a castle town to get that up and running. Now there is, however, the city. The city of Gorinchem. The holdings in the country of Sikt are all de jour my vassals. Which is cause enough for war. Actually, I'm going to offer him vassalization. Rather than engage in warfare, he's a good Dutch man. Why don't you just accept that I'm your rightful liege? Oh. My wife is in the dungeons. Well, that'll happen. Blessings upon you and your house. I accept to swear fealty to you and serve as your... Uh... There's probably a comma there, because to serve as your vassal lord almost sounds like he wants to be my boss. Well, my wife has gone insane in the dungeons of the Byzantine Emperor. She has a plague. It doesn't sound so good for her, I mean. I just want to explain this to one's kids. What do you see, children? I had sent your mother to a far-off land to perform acts of espionage against a powerful ruler known for castrating men. Let me cut her. Sorry. It's, it's what happens. The Pope likes me more. Minus five. Oh well. It is what it is. There we are. Now he serves me ably and well. He's just terrible at it. Why did he get elected mayor? Well, maybe my son can pick up some some worldly etiquette. Not too far from Cole. Speaking of places I'd like to destroy or take for myself. Oh, well. The blood of Boleslav the Cruel. Interesting. This is later to see the of the Bohemian. That's all right. I'm no longer patient. I wish I could just look up a list of bloodlines. Unless I'm missing one. Oh, I am. Here we are, bloodlines. So maybe I could go bloodline chasing.
There's the Carolingian blood. The Jihad failed. It's the Kaiser. Good. But you've been up all right, you know the son of the, the, the realm of rest, and no, neither shall I. All right, well, that's something I think we should pay attention to. Next time we're figuring out our heirs, you know, descent. Holland prospers. Excellent. Now we have the sacks of grain. What just happened? The papacy... Sorry, your Kaiserliness. The Papacy took over Saxony. Wait. First of all, along with the Kaiser. But what are the implications politically? Well, once again, I am apparently heir. Transjuria. Hmm. So even though it's not part of the realm anymore, it's still an elector. And we are unmarried. Well, excellent. Because remember, I'm just talking about, hey, I should find... Some bloodlines. Um, so let's find ourselves. Where was that bloodline? The Carling bloodline. Are there any women who possess the bloodline? Hmm. There appear to be a few. Hmm. Out of the sound of Sommer. Got you betrothed to my seven year old son. Yes? Yes? Hmm. She's French. To a particular heated argument in the council, you stepped in as Duke Burchard the Drunkard was making a fool of himself. I managed to soothe the debaters to win the argument for him. This only infuriated him. He wanted to win the argument by his own means. A tan like that has publicly shamed Burchard. Ha ha! Burchard, the drunken spy master of the realm. Ha! So you have Count 
Herbert the Hunter. Well, let's see what's going on. Well, we'll see how that plays out. And if not, well, there's always others who we might be able to take that bloodline from. Hmm. As for myself, uh, our main character, dear Duke here, marry an Austrian duchess. There it is. And hopefully we can put a few... Uh... Oh, there we are. We've got a strong claim on the county of Friesland. Soon we will have fries, everybody. <laughs> Now we'll go for Gelra itself. The Duke. Do you have any pacts? Not especially. What about me? Do I have any pacts? Uh, let's form an alliance with you. Alliance with you. Wife to be, will you join me in alliance? Good, good, good. So then. Again, 2,500 men. I have 4,500. 4,500 is more than 2,500. Claim the lands of Fries. Council votes yes. And I'll call in the her, because she can bring nearly 3,000 troops of her own. Oh, thank you, uh, my fiancé. Well, oh no, Thomas, he's dead. That's a little sad. Let's give you try to be friends with the Pope, though. So in this case, I'm not personally leading my own troops uh, because I am the steward of the Holy Roman Empire. Which means I'm off helping out the Kaiser. Once again, decisive numbers, superior leadership. We're going to see the battle. There we are. We lost uh, 236. The Battle of Egmond. And there we are. We are sieging this capital. Mm. And that appears to be the Aus my Austrian allies marching up to join me. Hello, my dear. I'll ask her to attach her army to mine. Oh. My daughter? To... No. That person isn't important at all. Even if he does have a bloodline, I can do better. Good, good. The Pope should be my friend. Because one thing that would certainly work poorly for me would be an excommunication.
And there we are with 7,000 men. We will once again inflict a telling blow. Ah, oh, my daughter. I'll take that because I can always drink an energy drink to cure my to cure my uh, stress. All right. Well, uh, we'll deal with this next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. But I'll see you soon.